Well, I first got into punk and hardcore in the early 80s. They heard Minor Threat, and they had a song called Straight Edge. And I was like, these guys are cool. They play aggressive punk rock music, and they don't drink and do drugs, and neither do I. So that music, which people probably thought was totally crazy back then, was actually a positive thing. I haven't had a meet since 1988. The bands and the music I was listening to were singing about stuff like that. It made me start thinking about it. I just started realizing that like, I didn't actually have to eat meat if I don't want to eat meat. Yeah, it's a lot of sacrifice not eating animals. I hope the cows appreciate me. All the stuff I learned from punk rock and hardcore, all the positive things that, that I got from this music, that's what I used to teach my son. Being in a band and going away a lot, it's hard, but Max realized now that when I'm home, it's, this is it, this is my downtime. It's just me and you. Anything you want to do, it's me and you. You're all wound up from tour, and you're coming to a reality where you have to wake up in the morning and carpool. You have to make dinner, you have to go to soccer practice. This life is not reality to a lot of people. I'm doing it for my son because there's no role models for my son. These kids have artists that I feel personally don't have anything, anything they work for, anything inspiring to give. Positive mental attitude, one life, one chance. I live it every day. It's helped me in my marriage and being a father and being in this band and being a human being. And I'm living proof that that music from when I was a child can stay in you your whole life and, and inspire you to do real life shit. No matter where we are, what we do, we are always gonna be a New York hardcore band. I miss the old New York and that's really cliche to say now, but I lived there during the perfect time with CBGBs, with the hardcore scene in the 80s. That's where I turned into a man, that's where my band began. But uh, California is my home now, so West Coast for life. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs>